welcome to my craft room. I'm so happy to have you here today. In today's video, we are going to be talking about using the slice feature with Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you a bunch of examples and explain to you how slice works and how you can make it work and some of those pitfalls that you might fall into to why slice isn't working for you. Now before we get started, be sure that you are subscribed here on YouTube. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun crafty content we have coming. Now let's get into the video. Sometimes slice and design space can be a little bit confusing, so I'm hoping that this tutorial will kind of unravel it for you and help you make your projects a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how we're gonna slice just two very simple things. So I'm just going to use two shapes. I'm just gonna use a heart and a star. And I'll make them two separate colors so that we can really see the difference. I'll also make them bigger and voila. So what I wanna to show to you first is your layers panel. You'll notice here that I have a star and a heart. Those are my two layers. If I want to slice my star out from my heart, I can just place it wherever I wanna slice it from in my heart. You can slice it wherever you want. So if you wanna kinda of like cut it out right here, that's fine. Then what you wanna do is select both items. You can draw a box around them and that'll select your two items in your layers panel. Then you'll notice that your slice is able to be clicked. When we click that, it will pull them apart into the different pieces. So you can see here, we've got the area that they overlapped, which was sliced out. And then we have the two areas where they were not overlapping, which then leaves us with this kind of, you know, space. Now, one thing I want you to note is that if I were to try and take, let's say we'll take this piece of the star and this piece of the heart and then move this star over, if I wanted to slice again, you'll notice that now I have four layers selected in my layers panel and my slice is grayed out because you cannot slice more than two layers. So if I wanted to slice and I only have one layer selected, you'll notice that it is also grayed out. But if I select the star and the rest of the heart, notice that I have two layers selected, they're green, and the slice is available. So I can again, slice that out. And now you'll see we have a bunch of like just random pieces from slicing. Now I'm gonna delete all of these and we're gonna do something a little different now. We're still gonna use a shape, but this time I'm just gonna use again, any random shape, it doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna use some text and show you how we can slice text out of our uh, images or our, in this case, shape. So we'll just do how to slice. And for fun, I'm just gonna change the font to something different. Let's, we'll use this absolute blonde one. That one will work, just something fun. And I'm gonna change the color. Let's make it pink or red, I guess. And then let's make this a light yellow. That way you can see the difference. So again, let's say that I want to have this cut out of the middle of our rectangle. All I simply have to do is select both items because again, you'll notice that they are a single layer. And all I then do is click slice. Then I can pull everything apart and get rid of the pieces that I don't want. So I don't want the letters. And now you'll see that when you cut this, it'll cut out the word. Simple as that. Now let's say that, let's do, let me find an image and show you a few different things about what can trip you up a little bit more with slicing. Now I have this image that I just grabbed from Design Space and I want to point out a couple things to you first. Number one, if you look in the layers panel, it's gonna look like it's one single layer, but this little arrow indicates that it actually has multiple layers. So what you'll wanna do is click this little arrow and it's gonna show you the layers that it contains. So it currently contains the uh, pink for the sunglasses, the sunglasses themselves, and your actual Boston Terrier image. Now, let's say I wanted to slice out the word dog mom from the pink in the sunglasses. So let's just go ahead and add some text. We'll just use the same um, font that we used before. We'll do dog mom. Now I just wanna slice this out from the sunglasses. So the first thing that I really need to do is to ungroup my letters because uh, they're too close together and I wanna to put one in each of the sunglasses. So what I'm gonna do is go to advanced, 
ungroup to letters and now you'll see we have a ton of layers. So first thing I'll do is I'll take the word dog and I'll put it into the pink over here where I want it. And then I'm going to do the mom and I'm going to put that over into the other side of the sunglasses. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're just showing you kind of how to work with slice. So first thing that we will want to do is take the word mom here, which is M, O, and M. And you're going to grab those letters over in your layers panel. For these, you're gonna to need to combine them. You can use Unite or Weld. I prefer Weld, but I'll do Unite over on the dog one. And then we'll do the same thing with dog. We'll use Unite over on the dog one. The biggest difference with Unite versus Weld is that you can undo Unite, but Weld is a permanent choice once you've hit Saved. Now what I need to do is to ungroup our Boston Terrier. If I tried to slice it right now, it can work, but you have to make sure that you grab just this layer and the layer you wanna slice. I personally would rather just ungroup my entire design just to make life a little bit easier. So I click ungroup and that allows you to really see your layers as all single pieces. So now I can grab the sunglasses and the mom or another option is to actually unite dog and mom and we can weld those or unite them. I'll go ahead and weld. Um, and then you can actually slice them all at once because that becomes one single layer. Then the pink in your sunglasses is also one single layer. So you can simply click slice and now you can delete the two slice results that you don't need. And now you've dog mom cut out of that pink layer. Grouping is just to hold items together. So if I were to currently try to move just like I wanted to move the whole dog and all I did was click on the blue you notice that the sunglasses stay where they are. What grouping does is it allows us to move the entire design on design space without having to grab one single, like draw a square around it. And if you accidentally grab like one single piece. Now, if I was to attach this, I'll show you what happens. Everything changes to be the same color. So attach is more for holding things together when you cut on your mat. So I'm going to click undo and I'm just going to ungroup this and pull the pieces apart just so you can see this a little bit better again. So now you see we have our three separate pieces. Now again, if you want to use slice, it is only to be used with two layers. Now let's go ahead and slice an image just so you can see how that would work as well. I've grabbed this birthday cake image and I'll make it a little bit bigger and I have opened it up so you can see all of its different layers. So what I wanna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and first ungroup all of my layers. Now, I personally like to like hide a layer here and there just to see um, what each layer looks like. So if I wanna see what's under this brown, like I don't frosting, I can hide it and just look at what's under it can bring it back and then I can look at what's under these little candle pieces which to be honest with you I don't want to uh, layer on top of the brown if you look do you see how there's little brown pieces under all of those I don't want to layer that I would rather line them up without having to get them perfect on the lower layer so I'm going to show you how we can slice that out to make that happen so that it's a little bit easier to work with and get everything lined up. Because if you don't line it up perfectly, a little bit of brown is going to show. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the pieces that I don't want to slice. So I don't want to slice out the chocolate frosting that I will line up and I don't want to slice out any of this yellow so I can hide that yellow layer as well. Now, I want to slice away the candles and the plate from this main brown piece so that I'm not layering them. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna start with pink. I'm gonna select the pink layer up here, and then I'm going to select the brown layer down here. And you'll notice because it's two layers, I can use the slice option. So I'm gonna go ahead and click slice. Now it's gonna take a second to process, sometimes it does, and then again, we can delete the parts that we don't want to keep. Now, sometimes it can be hard to tell what part you want to keep and what part you don't want to keep. So what I sometimes will do is I will just pull those pieces away so that I can see kind of what parts are what. So right here, we've got this weird line. I don't know where that came from, but we'll just delete it. It's fine. Now, I want to keep the plate and the pink 
because that is the parts here, but I wanna get rid of these brown parts. Now this one is set up a little bit funky. It's got kind of a weird extra line on it. We'll just ignore that and pretend it doesn't exist. Whoever designed it didn't do the best job. Um, so it may just be a little slightly off, but we can always, you know, it's fine. We can slice them out in a minute and I'll show you how to do that. Then what I want to do is I'm going to slice the blue from the brown. Now, if it's hard for you to see, you can just drag that layer down and now you can see we've got blue and brown. So I'm just going to go ahead and slice those two layers out. Now, again, I think because these are not lined up perfectly, we're getting a couple like extra little lines, which like I said, super annoying, but that's why I don't want to line them up the way they had it. So now we've got our blue candle. And then last but not least, we want to slice away the purple candle. I'm just going to pull that up above so you can see it. And then I'm going to go ahead and select those two layers and slice them. And again, we're probably going to be left with like a weird line, but I'm going to show you how we can get rid of them real easy. So look here. Now we've got the brown. We can get rid of that. Now we've got these little lines, which are like super annoying. The first thing that I want to do is I can try contouring, which is down here in the lower left. And I can just see, I can contour away one little line. So we'll use contour for that. Now we have these other little lines and the reason we can't contour them is because they're connected to the main design. But we can use our skills with slice to get rid of them. I'm going to open up a shape. I'm going to use a square. And all I want to do is line this up as close as I possibly can to the top of my cake. Now I am going to pull this all the way across so that if it cuts a little bit of the cake off, it's gonna cut the whole top off and it won't be that big of a difference. Now I'm gonna click slice. You'll notice again, two layers were selected and now we can delete all these extra little pieces that we don't need. And we can do the same over here. Again, I'm gonna select a shape. I'm gonna use a square and I'm gonna get it as close as I can. And again, I'm just gonna expand it so that it covers that whole side. Then I'm gonna select both layers and click slice. Then I can just delete all of these extra parts. And now I can kind of piece my design back together. So I can put my plate down. I can put my candles down. And then I can bring back the frosting, which might need to be moved, and the uh, yellow. So I'll just pull those up so that they are over the layers, and then we can get everything lined up where it goes. And now what you're going to notice is it looks basically the same, but we, we need to move the candles around a little bit, but that's fine. Um, but you'll notice that now it looks pretty much the same, but you're going to have less layering, less of a headache when you need to line up your candles because we can move these around a little bit so that they match up to the yellow a little better. And this is just going to make it so much easier to layer this, to design with it, to use all the things with it. It just makes life a lot easier when you don't have to try to line everything up perfectly. But now you can see it basically looks like the cake that we started with, but now it's going to be easier to work with. Now, if you have any questions about Slice, please let me know in the video's comments down below. I'm always happy to answer those for you. If you have any questions about anything else or you're looking for a specific tutorial, comment that down below as well. If I have a video for it already, I will definitely get you a link. And if not, I'm going to add it to my list of tutorials to make. Make sure that you're subscribed here. That way you don't miss out on any of the fun crafty content we have coming. I hope you all have a wonderful day and as always, happy crafting.